Okay, right. So I talked ahead of my slides. That's the perils of being nonlinear. Uh, but that's the gist of what I just said. We're trying to fund innovative new things, and we want to do it in like a low friction, high speed, awesome ignite uh, kind of way. So uh, our grants, are, we are very blessed to have matching grants from the Warnock Foundation. So they are totally awesome force for good here in the city. So I'd like to really give a round of applause for the Warnock Foundation. Okay, so uh, now the most important uh, the thing I want to introduce, uh, one of our recipients from the, the last grant uh, is here to present what their progress. So please welcome Kristen and Adrian from Places and Spaces. Hello. Hello. I'm Kristen. I'm Adrian. This is Adrian. Um, we did this project called Places and Spaces. All right, so Places and Spaces is a print publication and an online resource to help create an increased accessibility and awareness to the art scene in Baltimore. So what we wanted to do was there's this thriving artist community here. There's a lot of really amazing things that are happening, but we believe that equal to that is a community of people who appreciate the arts and don't feel that they have access to what's going on in the city. So it's a quarterly print publication with a curated list of each quarter is 12 galleries, and there's 120 galleries, museums, and art spaces in the city. So over the course of time, we hope to truly feature all of those galleries and show what they're best at doing, and also online have a complete list so people have access to them. Um, here's examples of some of those galleries that you should all go to and help support. Um, what we're interested in doing is helping create a conversation between makers and appreciators in the city. So if you are an artist, make your art in Baltimore and show your art in Baltimore. If you are a gallery owner, make your gallery accessible to the people who want to see it. If you are an appreciator of the arts, find them and see them and also support the galleries and support the artists who are making the work. And Places and Spaces is just a project we did to help people do that. All right. I'm really outgoing. <laughs> All right, so if you have never been to a gallery before and you feel that you appreciate the arts and you want to go see them, these are some tips. When you go in, take your time, look at the art. It's OK to just be a little confused for a while. Ask questions. You can ask the artist if they're there. You can ask the gallerists if they're there. You can ask other people who are standing there and looking really confused. Um, pick up promotional material and take it with you. It often has the websites of the artists, it has more information about the gallery, it has upcoming shows, and it will help you stay involved in what's going on in the city too. Um, and how to support the arts that, he that are here. If you go into a gallery and you're like, wow, this art is so amazing, it also won't fit through my front door, I'm never gonna buy this. You can help support the gallery for putting on shows that gives you the experience of seeing really amazing artwork like that because otherwise it's not gonna fit through people's front doors. You can make donations, you can intern and volunteer, you can also intern and volunteer for places and spaces, we can use your help. Um, and we're looking for sponsors. We have a website, our website is psbaltimore.com and on there we have lists um, of tons of resources for artists as, as far as studio space, materials, um, different grants and things that are going on, but also for people who are interested in the arts. If you're a collector, how to get in touch with artists, get in touch with galleries. We also have contact information for all of the galleries and write-ups on why we think they're so great and amazing. Thank you. 